Um, and ultimately, like, the vines here don't even have to hold up that much together. If we're just, like, pulling out a support, that requires, like, much less force than, like, its actual full weight. So it's like, oh, yes. yeah, if it can, like, hold up, like, 50 pounds of weight, then it probably will move the support. So, uh, you guys are all held back in this last room. I assume you're all coming back to this this last room so that this collapse doesn't uh, doesn't catch you. Right. I'm already there. Right. So here we'll, I think, so there's there's a position. You're all back there out of this room. And now, Karamikos, uh, it's going to be a, an average mining check in order to make sure that this collapses and collapses in this room. Uh, time for Finally, time to check your work. Supreme embarrassment. <laughs> here we go. So it's within 40, so you got 63, you're, you're under 63, and so you, you guys, you, you pull, maybe you pull the first support, and, and maybe something doesn't collapse, and so you, you set up a rope on the next one, and, and you pull that one, and the, 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 the kind of room gives a, gives a little bit of a shudder, and then the, the rocks start falling and collapsing, and before you know it, the room starts being buried in in dirt and stone as this entire room gives out and fills up with dirt and there's uh there's dust and uh you guys all start coughing and choking a little bit as it all fills up the air and for a second you can't see and then it clears and this room has uh, maybe there's a little bit of area over here where it hasn't completely collapsed and maybe there's a slight uh uh incline where there's a slope up to the where the collapse has happened but this room to the best of your knowledge has completely collapsed as as this as this collapses uh you you you're fairly certain that as the stone was falling uh, well actually can i get observation checks from everyone that's probably the best way to do could this. i have heard it whatever you're describing happen <laughs> let me see Uh, I do no. You would not have actually. You would not be able to hear this. Oh yeah. Well, twenty. How about that? What do I see, Eli? What do I see? Nothing. I'm blind. I'm a blind character, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what you've done, Karamiko. You see you saw something. <laughs> you see blackness. Moving blackness. Uh, I mean, it hasn't been described, but my character is a basically a somewhat tallish figure in a black cloak with a full-on face mask with no, you know, eye slits, mouth, nose holes, anything. It's just... Abstract as usual. Yeah. Hmm. So, Werlin and... Orble, Orble, Werlin, and Elka, you are, you're watching through this as this, as the, as the rubble collapses. And through the, the falling rocks, you're fairly certain that as this main, as it started collapsing here at the beginning, as these rocks and, and the dirt starts collapsing and, and falling on this, on this protective circle, uh, the first thing, what, what you notice is that that blue shimmer that was around the very center uh, disappears. And it almost looks like it collapses in. On the, on the skeleton, and the skeleton shimmers just blue for a very faint second, and it, it flickers once, almost like a pulse, and then is gone. And then the rocks are, have cover everything, and you can't see anything anymore. Ooh. <clears throat> and everything is still. What would you like to do? Um... I want to search my feelings. Uh, you know them to be true. I, yeah. <laughs> after I'm done, like, <laughs> acting a up a lung from dust inhalation, uh, I'll, like, kind of, like, test myself and see, like, how do I feel about, like, this dark sense of foreboding dread around me? You, you search your feelings, and it, it might have, it feels like it has slightly lifted. Hmm. 
All right. Uh, Whirlin's just gonna kind of like look at everyone's face and sort of assume no one saw what he saw. And he's just gonna go ahead and pat his hands and go, well, I think our work's done then. This time, for real. <clears throat> Good, I would have gotten bored. Ah, well, what are you talking about? Just enjoying a nice day outside? Ah, can't get bored that way. <laughs> Still, we had one person do all the work, and now we get to split all the money. <laughs> <laughs> I say, this has been a successful venture. <laughs> Not very good oh, businessman, are you? I just show up, I make the money. I'm oh, the best businessman, I didn't have to do anything. Alright, but you're splitting the profits with two people who just showed up. Right, well, nobody died in the mining collapse, so that's just unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Well, what am I going to do about it? Let's get the hell out of here before the rest of it collapses. Uh, you know what, that's actually an incredibly sensible thing you just said there. I'd like to not get buried alive. You won't get buried alive, it's done. <coughs> I've killed him. That's one less oh, for it's the dust. It's the dust, he's coughing. Let me make a joke. He's gonna go off screen and die now. Way to go, <laughs> Eli. What? I blame you. Why do you blame me? He survived a hurricane, couldn't survive Eli's joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Category 5 joke. <laughs> people died, Eli! Yeah, and I kill people with my jokes. I'm killing it. So, what there would you, you all like to do? You've collapsed this room. You you feel somewhat better. As if something has, has lifted or changed. Guess we go and get our money then. That's right. Let's leave. Oh, like All right. A good thing. So cool. you you leave you uh you you exit this this chamber and and you you go back upstairs where you recover uh, you recover Finn who uh is starting to feel better but is still still queasy and and probably completely uh, completely pale at this point uh, from her digestive issues. What would and you guys all return to the the village? Uh, if you if you remember from your original conversation with Lady Arrain is I mean these are all nightmares that are happening. So in order for her to know that it's lifted, no one has or, there has to be a night where no one gets any nightmares. And mm -hmm. so uh, even if you return and you're like, hey, we did it, we did everything, like the first time when you went and killed the whatever that creature was. Uh, they, she, she can't give you. She's not going to pass you your the reward until, uh, until there's it. There's proof. So we wait. At, so you wait. Uh, you spend one more night. You had been given uh, a hovel to, to, to rest at while you had recovered your wounds, and so um, everyone who is hurt gains, or, yeah, gets one more night of healing. Can I have everyone roll a mental save? So this is a saving throw. It's at the top right of your character sheet. Uh, you should just be able to hit the button that says save, and that's all you need to do. Oh dear, I got a minus one to that. I thought I was smart. Make sure to add, make sure that your, your character sheet at the very top says whatever level you are, because the saving mm -hmm. throws are calculated from your le your character level plus any bonuses from your ability scores um and that's that's automatically calculated that'll that'll be in the right under stat bonus is that int uh, it is it is based off of wisdom so yeah, it's a sort of weird modifier thing there dennis oh that must be the level mm -hmm. yeah i put my level in so let's see is that better? Well, no. Technically, it's not. Yeah, it's it's a worse roll. Well, technically, it's... the first time you rolled a twelve, your re-roll you rolled a thirty. <laughs> yeah, technically, it's better through the, through the character sheet, but 
role wise, much worse. Yeah. And Elka, you have an 11? Yeah. Because you said nine and wisdom would be like my stat bonus, right? No, no, no. You don't get any, you don't get your enti- entire wisdom. Ah. Uh. It's, it's a skew. Like having a seven wisdom gives you a minus one. Okay. So don't worry about it. The character sheet auto calculates your stat bonuses. I mean, so. I'm technically level two, right? But we didn't do that. So that's why I just kept it at level one. So then it was a 15, which was my first roll. Yeah, yeah, your your first roll was was to, was fine. Uh, so you can tell this is the first time that we've ever made a saving throw. the The thing is, saving throws only ever happen when you are affected by magic, and so since mainly it's been you all that have had the magic to go against enemies, they're the ones mainly making these saves. So uh, you haven't yet fought any magic users, really. So. That's why you have you've only had to make these in in some some few circumstances. So Eric and Orbel and Werlin. Yes, indeed. You have I just have to remember the three of you. Uh, that's lessons learned. That's Eric, and that is Griffin. Orbel. Which make you make it so you guys all three of you made it really easy by putting your your characters' names on your uh, actually almost all of you have mm-hmm. except for one person. Uh, all right, so I've I've added uh, there's now a handout. Uh, if you go into the the section under handouts, uh, there's one that's called a dream. The three of you see that? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So at, as you sleep, <clears throat> you you have this strange dream where where everything is dark, and through the night there is a there's a there's a strange voice that echoes through your dreams and. All you hear is that those phrases repeated over and over and over. Does it affect our sleep? It it doesn't affect your sleep, aside from maybe, uh, uh, maybe however you want it to affect your sleep. It doesn't affect your sleep negatively, like you don't wake up feeling unrested, but you also don't wake up feeling like you just had the best night of your sleep. You wake up maybe with a with a strange feeling or maybe with those words still kind of echoing in the back of your head. That's all you hear. Interesting. <clears throat> I don't suppose uh, I could use any sort of arcane lore to connect this to things that I know. Um, arcane lore. Arcane lore might. I don't. Arcane lore wouldn't apply to this. Okay, but that's fine. as as it almost has a a riddle like set, uh, anyone with the riddling skill would might uh, get a roll on this. Uh, in addition, there's someone else that has a skill that's applicable, but. They didn't roll badly on their save. Still a strange, strange dream. Uh, and I'm going to assume like we went back to town, took a night's rest, and this is what happened, right? Are yes, they... this is the okay. this is the night's rest in which you in which you hear this this strange stanza. Are they and... muttering but... it in their sleep? <clears throat> Are they sleep yeah, talking? It, it, yeah. Does anyone have sleep talking? No. Then. You're all good. Uh, in that case, uh, well, you know, I didn't have a blazing nightmare last night. I think we might be able to get paid today. Yeah, I believe uh, of the people that did fail that save, I think Werlin, you did have had a you did have a nightmare before. Yep. One so, whole nightmare. And before you you had the when you had that nightmare, it was like this feeling of being of being trapped and screeching and longing and 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 
just like you needed to like reach out and grab something. And then when you woke up, it it had just fled your mind and you were just left with those those awful feelings. But in this one, there isn't any awful feelings. The only the only feelings of maybe dread or or suspicion that you might have seem to be your own as opposed to be almost like instead of being like implanted or or like layered upon your own emotions. Right, yeah. Okay. Um still, so I'm feeling fine after it. It's it's weird, but it's it's fine. So uh I think I'll go ahead and uh uh suggest we head back up to the noble house and uh see if they'll be willing to pay us today. So you you leave uh your your hovel and and start heading towards the manor. Uh can everyone roll a observation check or actually a listening check would also be applicable for anyone who would like to use listening instead. I mean, I can echo locate. I can literally see things Daredevil style. It's got to come into play, man. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Both of these are both of these are applicable. Um, and no, actually, they'll give you different different things. Well, you think ninety two might be a fail, but it's literally my skill level. Yeah, yeah it, it, that's it, crazy. It, it's an average observation check and a difficult listening check. Well, I still still succeed. Yes. So for the observation checks, it looks like Wherelin. Fa- it looks like. Uh, uh, let's see. Looks like Eric. Uh, Eric, you're you're walking out, and uh, maybe this is just something in that you're used to, and you're you're like a little superstitious as a barbarian, and I mean you're just always looking for danger. You're noticing that as you're out and walking towards the manor house, there's less people out and around, and Karamikos, with your great hearing, you you're fairly certain that you hear like a, as you're walking past a lot of houses, you're hearing a lot of snoring. Uh, and it's it it's about the time where most folks have woken up and people seem to be sleeping. <clears throat> what does this town filled with so many people that snore? <laughs> I'm not saying that everyone is gone and off the streets. Like you're seeing one or two people walking around and and doing things here or there, but like you're you're not noticing the same amount of people that you did the first few times you had walked around this town. So I'm commenting why so many people are snoring. Yeah, I mean, really, I would. What is the percentage of a normal population that snores? That's. A- great question. No, it's not. not. It's a real a stupid question. I'm just asking it, though. I know I snore. What percentage of us snore? I, I snore pretty badly. <laughs> uh, as I yeah. understand it, I snore, yeah. Okay, so it, at least it's more than half, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's probably 75% or something. Okay. I thought it was less. I thought snoring was the oddity. 45% are snore occasionally, while 25 are habitual snores, apparently. Hmm. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. <clears throat> ah, humans are just lazy like that. What percentage don't know they snore? Huh? All of them. You're asleep when you're doing it. <laughs> well, I, I, I know I snore. I mm-hmm. have friends. I just, you know. right. I actually keep walking up. Apparently, you have very door. boring friends, then, I guess, that you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> More like creepy, I guess. Yeah, just saying you have friends at that is a is a is a weird like they're listening to you sleep. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm keeping them up. Either way. I I actually do know people that will like voice chat like or, like people that are online friends that will actually like voice chat with each other and then will fall asleep like while they're voice chatting. It's weird. And then we'll like stay in the in the voice chats because they like in like they like hearing that sound while they sleep. So I guess that would be one way to know if you snored because your mic would pick up you snoring. I mean, Griff and I had a GM <laughs> that would fall asleep on us in the middle of running a game. So the comfort of humans. I oh, had a nice. player who one time uh, <clears throat> might have fallen asleep a few times in, a, in an I early morning yet. game. I-, I have a friend who would habitually fall asleep in the middle of games. They're like, you know, like, oh yeah, you know, we're all getting together. We'll eat. Oh, well, now I'm feeling sleepy. Guess I'll fall asleep over here and then snore for like an hour. <laughs> yeah. 
Narcolepsy is a real thing. So you you journey to the manor, um, and where you're where you're greeted once again by the uh, the their their butler, um, and he, he he takes you in to uh, to see Lady Arain, um, and she uh, she 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 beams at all of you. Uh, oh, uh, it, goodness! It is uh, to see all of you. To see all of you, I, 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 I had worried you had, you had disappeared for so long. I, I, I thought you all might be dead. I had worried. Uh, I know for true. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, Christy just popped in for a second. Um, but yes, it's it's true. We we're all alive. Uh, uh, much against my own expectations. Truly, it was a hard-fought battle. Uh, but together, we managed to banish a demon with nothing but our raw might and intellect alone. A, a, a demon? Oh, that is goodness. true. What we had found was a terrible demon residing down there, and the fight was long and hard. But in the end, we have freed the town from this curse. I I certainly think so. I... I slept wonderfully last night, and uh, uh, please, I, I hope you are you are not offended that I sent uh, Orbel and and uh, and Elka uh, to to investigate uh, to to see where you were. I I was worried. Uh, I I, no I wanted this taken. taken care of. None offense taken at all, of course. Oh, oh, good, and. Uh, this is delightful. I I am glad it is something uh, killable. That is, it is always. I I was worried it was something, something more. She kind of shudders more mystical or, or, heaven forbid, it might be something divine. But <laughs> who knows? Uh, well, with certainty, it will never bother this town ever again. I. I believe uh, a payment is in order then. Uh, yes, indeed. One one moment. Uh, I, I shall return with, with haste, and so she'll she'll leave and then and come on back. And uh, here, uh, for I I do not know how uh, you you preferred it, but uh, I can. I can just pass you. Uh, I've, I've got to. I guess. I, I guess she'll duck back and she'll be like, "Ah, would you like it divided in coin purses or in in um, one bag?" What's the total amount again? We're looking here. She originally offered the three of Karamikos, Eric, Werlin, and Finn twenty-five silver to do it, but then she offered uh, Orbel and Elka seven silver. So she's also in the awkward position that. Uh, coin she has is, offered different amounts. Coin purses works fine. Yes, indeed. And I, 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 we'll I'll put it say, in my own purse. Yeah. We'll just say that that Finn is here, so that sh you're all given those coin purses, and yeah, then uh, you, you know, she returns and uh, uh, please, I, I I thank you for what you've done. It uh, I, certainly there's no one out uh, asking for. For help from the from the manor now. Uh, thank you. Did you well, you said there was a demon, right? Yes, a, a strange winged creature. It had itself protected by magical barriers that, through our ingenuity, we had to thwart. I don't suppose you've maybe heard of that before. I understand the town wishes to keep away from its past, but oh, certainly someone has some legend of it. I I am not concerned so much... Well, I am concerned. Uh, not that I have heard of these <clears throat> these crazy creatures. Uh, not that I've heard of, of demons or or being inside any of these grounds, but I'm, I'm concerned for one of our sister villages. Uh, they they too have a similar tradition in maintaining uh, a hill like this. You you don't think that they too might have a have a demon of their own? They suffer the same curse, do you think? Is that what you've heard? 
I, I, I honestly do not know. I, I have not traveled there, but I've, I, I have not heard news. We've had, we've had no messengers travel from, from here to there in the, in the past days since <clears throat> our troubles began. I'm going to, by the way, side note, I'm moving us over to the map of the region. Mm -hmm. uh, and then since Theta's not here, I'll just center us. But Let's see, what was the name uh, of the town here? Terran? You are in the town of Terran. And... Yep, you are in the town of Terran. Okay. Uh, and so then I'll go ahead and say... Well, I suppose it wouldn't be too much of a hassle to take a journey and uh, visit the, sis si uh, the sister city. The merchant caravan, it seems, has already moved on. It's been over a week at this point. I didn't think they would stay too long in the first place. And, well, without a ride, I suppose I do need to journey somewhere. Uh, it is uh, if you are willing, of course, to uh, pay for the excursion and perhaps a small amount of food for the way, then I think we could deal with taking a walk i i do not know even know if they are in trouble but i could certainly write you a uh, a letter for for the <clears throat> for the lord there that you you are capable and and uh, i will be discreet as well about about the exact nature of of the of the trouble i i know some folks are are iffy even about Demons, for those, or even the speak of, even the speak of demon, might tread uh, dangerously close to, to that of of go of gods and and their their ilk. But I, I could write you a letter. They would uh, that that would explain maybe what you what you could do for them. Uh, that would be a good idea. We can deliver the letter and. Uh... Should there be no problem, of course, they'll understand your concern and write back. And, of course, if there is something there, then we'll already be in a position to help. That, 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 that <clears throat> I, d just give me but, uh, but an hour uh, to, to, to work on, on this letter and, uh, and then I'm, it, it shall be ready for you. And of course, I, I don't claim to speak for anyone but myself here. This does sound like a good set of plans and a good bit of employment to me. Uh, what about the rest of you? Do you feel satisfied with this arrangement? Do you think you'll continue on? What's the name of the town? It is the town of... Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. It is... Fafan. It Fafan. is to the... Uh, the southeast, more or southeast east, or yeah, I see it like over here. Yep, yeah. that's it right there. <clears throat> sure, I'm game. So yeah. Uh oh, right. I guess we're on this side of the river of Tafon, so we don't have to cross it. So we'd end up like going through Robbie, probably down river, and then like up a little bit. You could go down through through Robbie, um, but if you notice, it's it doesn't show up very well. But it probably shows up better by Bashan. But there is a dotted, like a, a very faint white dotted line, and it you can see it kind of here vaguely, and you can see it right here and right here. But there is a road that would go from from Terran. Uh, this is the rough path of it. I'll actually just try oh yeah, I... try to trace it. It goes. Yeah. Roughly around here, and reaches Fafon. Oh, I, I wrote that in green, and yep. on the GM's <laughs> layer. <laughs> Completely not can, helpful. Fortunately, you can select it and just change the color and the layer. Hooray! Yep. <laughs> the least helpful drawing possible. <laughs> All right. So, so there's just a road straight there. Hey, that's perfect. Yeah. That's easy. There is a road that'll take you there. <clears throat> take you there. But. Uh, Let's see, even the distance of it. It would be about be about twenty four feet as the which would be about as air travels. About twenty eight, twenty thirty miles to to travel from from Terran to to Fafan. So we could do like in a day or two, I think. Then, right? Does any uh well to do it in a full day? You would all need road marching or hiking and road marching. How many folks right, have so like hiking or road marching? Two. Yeah, it would be about, yeah, 
about a one and a I half day both. journey. You have hiking, road marching. Nice. So do I. So do I. Okay. All right. Does anyone not have it? That's a better question. I don't have it. As a as a fighter, you automatically have it. Oh. So I think it's just Whalen that doesn't have it. That's right. It it honestly might be a good thing to invest in because it can just increase your uh I mean your your group well I guess Finn probably doesn't have it. Uh which would be Right, the, but something to like bring up like when we level and we have BP to spend, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, uh, with like, that with the backstory is overarching. Yeah. Yeah, it's only four build points to take that that proficiency. Um but yeah, without without hiking road marching, it would probably be about a two day journey. Okay, so that's simple enough. So uh, I could maybe like, well, when she comes back with a letter, like request like uh, four days of food for the lot of us to just walk out there and walk back. She didn't offer you any food. Well, the, again, like that was part of my negotiation to say like, if you're willing to front us that for the journey, then we can easily make it, and that could be part of our payment. That does sound like uh, some sort of negotiation. So uh, what tact are you using? Are you using more of a, a diplomacy, a straight persuade, a little bit of uh, seduction? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I think diplomacy makes sense, and I've been using that a fair bit. I should honestly probably put skill points at that next level, too. Uh, unless someone wants to step up and say that they are an actual negotiator of some kind. I don't suppose anyone is. That sounds like a big no to me. So I'm gonna go ahead sounds and roll like a huge no. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a bad negotiator. And hey. this would be opposed. It would also be opposed. So I mean, you already rolled. So we'll just say that's a that's a 65 against her uh, res resist persuasion. Not the worst number, but let's see how it holds up. It's not the worst at well. It's it, it, it's not the worst. Uh, she has a 28 in resist persuasion. Mm-hmm. And rolled really well. She, just like you, last time. Yeah, just like last time, she rolled incredibly well. So you, uh, you ask about this. You know, if if we had food, and she says, I, I could offer you some, but I, unfortunately, uh, a lot of our food has has been spoiled. It. May I? I'm sorry to say this, but a lot of the cheese that we had has turned out to be not so great. And there is at least enough that uh, we can purchase some in town, right? Oh yes, I, I believe there are some there are some food stocks in town, but uh, in order to keep the manor house well stocked, uh, there's there's always the worry of a uh, of a slenish attack, and um, we we need to we need to make sure our our stores stay stay supplied. Right. And I suppose I can't blame you for being short on cheese these days, these trying hard days. The cheese apocalypse. Yes. <laughs> Might you have some fine breads or anything else? Can that I make a diplomacy a check? <laughs> She's trying to take. Well, oh, you want to go ahead and make a check too? You all, you already a made check. a check. Oh, okay. You already tried to persuade her, and so you you, right. you can't try again. All right. But so looking at trail. Looks rash. like you're a. Pretty good diplo. You've got a much better diplomacy than than Wehrlin. Uh, yeah, you actually have points in it. Oh, you, what did you say? <laughs> I do not know. I always let Moron talk for us. <laughs> Indirectly, true oh, rations. Nice. Uh, pretty sure rations are entirely for one person. Yeah. So, or well, at least at least that's how they're listed under the equipment section in the player's handbook. Mm -hmm. There's two different types of, of rations. One's extra. One's cheaper than the other. So it's uh, there's standard rations and there's trail rations. Standard rations cost less but weigh more. And in order to to eat standard rations, someone has to have a cooking skill because the the standard rations are something you actually have to cook. So, so there's a there's a little bit of danger in having standard rations because especially if like let's say you're 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 running from like a horde of orcs across the mountain pass mm -hmm. and you need to you know cook your food then well do you want to have a fire and expose your I, position I didn't I didn't know someone had to actually make a roll for it uh we <laughs> didn't remember before 
But it's easy, yeah, so at least that's it's easy. possible. Yeah. So all you have to do, and I don't worry about having a fumble on that. So mm -hmm. all you have to do for 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 that is have a uh, at least a twenty, basically an average skill in cooking and baking. Right. And... We have like a halfling with a mess kit, and then we just stop and cook it. That's that's perfectly fine. Let's see. Let me double check if Finn has Finn has cooking and baking. That works perfect. Okay. Uh, and how many days are a week in the setting? Ten or seven? Seven. Okay, so seven days. What setting have you been playing that has ten days in a week? Uh, one of them. I can't remember. I think it's actually Farron. So, so a D and D thing. Hmm. Uh, and silver to copper was ten. Yep. Okay. So I now have a week of food. Or at least I will intend to go out and buy that as soon as I can. How much are uh, trail rations per day? <clears throat> per day, they sell. Uh, it, the player's handbook sells it in week increments, and it's five copper for a week of standard, or five silver for a week of trail. It's like a little less than a copper a day. Yeah, it's a little less. And it's going to take us two days, right? That's correct. Okay. And the one thing about trail ra or standard rations that are difficult is they weigh a lot and so there's a chance of being encumbered and if you're encumbered in a fight then you'd want to like toss off your backpack and then before mm -hmm. you fight which has all sorts of implications yep so uh with 50 pounds of rations uh i'm definitely going to be encumbered but so i'll just have to remember to put everything down so how many people are buying rations uh how many people are buying rations? I bought 10 standard rations. I bought a week's ten? worth of trail rations. That's that's for okay. 10 weeks, by the way. That would be 10 weeks. Uh, <laughs> and that would be 500 pounds. Oh, okay. She's a growing girl. What do you want? You, you could just buy a cart and horse while you're in town, too. <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> Actually, how much is that? I'll, I'm going to double check that for fun while I'm here. I mean, it's the, it's the airy method, right? Yeah. Cart. Months worth of drink, months worth of food, done, never doing this again. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you know, it works. Eri got captured, and you guys were still living off of his food and drink. Yeah, it worked out great for us. Thanks. <laughs> uh, Let me see. Are you interested in buying a cart? Uh, well, I mean, I'm just going to try finding, like, where it's listed and then, like, see, like, oh, way too much, so... Oh, way too much. So do we uh, each have 25 uh, silver, or is it 25 silver for all of us? Th four you were of us given do. five. Are each what? given five, okay. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. You said 25. Yeah, 25 for the group. You really need okay. to clarify the shitty eye. Yeah. <laughs> you said you four were offered 25, and they were yeah, offered as, seven. And I said seven each. I didn't hear the word each. It's it's five for the the four of you, and then I'm going back. Uh, Wait a second. Seven. There's only five <laughs> copper in this. There's only five silver you in this got fucking bag. Location. Why didn't you hear it? <laughs> uh. I already had trail rations, so I have some left. So I'm good. Yeah, same here. I didn't have that many, so yeah, I had to rebuy. So uh. So we'll come back like in an hour. She'll have the letter. We have like our food, and uh, we just had to discuss among ourselves like when when would we want to start our journey. A cart costs five silver, by the way. Yeah, I was looking that up and like itemizing it a bit. I imagine we need something to pull the cart. <laughs> Ooh, a bear! <laughs> <laughs> I can pull the cart. <laughs> I'm five three and ninety pounds. <laughs> ninety pounds? Yeah. That character art does not look ninety pounds. I know. <laughs> I couldn't find anything that we can have a cart like pulled a, by geese. <laughs> very skinny chick with a morning star that wasn't from an anime. Yeah. Oh, these horses are like incredibly expensive, but you could get like an ox for fifteen. So it'd be like twenty silver total at like the least. So that'd be, uh, we pitch in all of our resources, think, if we really wanted to do that. I don't think that's worth it. I, I don't think it's worth it yet, either. Eventually it will be, but... 
Not right yeah, now. Yeah, let's get to third level, and then, then we'll think about it. Okay, so uh, when do we want to go? What what kind of time of day is it already? Can somebody catch me up on why we're going there? Um. Well, she wants us to check on the sister city, and over there, I assume we can find more gainful employment. And if we deliver this letter, I'm sure she'd be willing to give us a small bit of payment in exchange for that. We have this townhouse here, which... Uh, at least the four of us share, and I'm willing to share it with others. Um, I'm going to do the walk because I want to get more money because I don't have that much. What about the rest of you? Money is good. I'll also take the cheap route. Yep. So I'm hearing money and money, and that just leaves, uh, well, our cheese curd over here, who will be rolling with us, and uh, you two. So, what do you two brothers think? I think we need to go. Well, Karamikos, it seems like your brother's interested in some gainful employment. What are you doing, Boron? Why are you talking to me this way? Well, because I have you surrounded, and I'm hoping to guilt you into taking a walk with us. You don't have me surrounded. I know exactly where you are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, socially. Socially what? Everyone, you, everyone's you doing it, Karamikos. How do you surround me socially? How does that even work? Well, your brother's going to go. Aren't you going to go with him? Of course I go with my brother goes, why would I not? Then it's settled, we're all going for a walk. <laughs> uh, so I guess back to Eli, what time of day is it? Do well, you just... you just, just woken up, you mm -hmm. just, you know, made your, moseyed your way over to the manor, discussed with uh, Lady Rain, and then... Uh, You've done a little bit of shopping. You bought some trail rations, which are all available. Mm -hmm. There was a no on the cart, correct? Uh, right. Correct. We're not buying a cart. All right. And then you're good. And so it would be probably still before noon at this point. We could get started today if you all want. Sounds good. Sure. All right. So we have all of our supplies. We have nothing better to do. and We only have a shack to return to. So we get walking. All right, so this is a good spot to just take a short pause. Let's take a five-minute break, because I need to use the bathroom. So Cool transition, bro. <laughs> cool transition. <laughs> cool, kids, so, uh... use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in five minutes.